YouTube, that's your girl Samantha Sweets, and welcome back to my channel. My channel, hey, sweetie squad, what is up, my lovies? Happy Thursday! <laughs> All right, guys, so I just did a video on my thoughts, my opinions, and my reviews of animal attacks. So, if you want to see that video, do a little chit chat with your girl, go click on that video. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. The ending is freaking hilarious, so definitely stay tuned. And right now, we are getting into Ipsy Subscripsy. Yeah. Hey, I don't have to have the bag in front of me. I can just do that song myself. Who's singing along? Ipsy Subscripsy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, what's up? I'm your girl Samantha Sweets. Please make sure you hit the subscription button below. Give it a click right here. Ring a ding, ding, ding the bell. Turn your post notifications on. Why? Because I do giveaways. Guys, I haven't even had soda today. What's up? Anyways, I'm giving away a blue blood Jeffree Star palette along with some Jeffree Star goodies. And we also have a 5,000... Whoa, I wish a 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very soon at the end of this month. But if you want to be entered in the Jeffree Star, make sure you comment on that video, Blue Blood Giveaway, Jeffree Star Blue Blood Giveaway. I'll try to put the link in the description box below. I truly do apologize. Sometimes I forget to add the link, but it's not far. Like, just click up like three and you'll see the giveaway video. And the rules are very simple. All you have to do is make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and comment down below who is your favorite male actor. I'll be announcing the two lucky winners on January 15th. Now, let's get into some ipsy subscripsy yeah all right guys so ipsy for january 2020 i raved about ipsy i cheered ipsy on ipsy why'd you do me dirty why did you give me such a sucky ass bag so guys i'm gonna let you guys know what i got i'm gonna let you know the add-ons you can choose from and i'm gonna let you and i'm gonna comment and i want you guys to comment down below what you got in your bags like tell me everything because i know your bag could not be as possibly bad as mine like i love the bag love the bag okay but oh my god the freaking contents inside oh my god they let me down the, the the products were amazing, but just the the ones that I received was such trash to me. Okay, so um, I might be a little judgmental. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's talk about what I got in my bag. All right. What the hell? Oh, I was like, where's my stuff? Okay, so Samantha Sweets got in her bag a red lipstick from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. They are a very good brand. Their makeup is um, very pigmented and creamy. But who needs a red? I mean, I guess Valentine's Day is coming up. But again, I have so many red lipsticks. So I would have been better off getting a lip gloss. I gravitate more to lip gloss than I do lipsticks. Um, matter of fact, I need some damn gloss on my lips right now. I'm wearing, I'm not wearing any gloss, guys. This is actually Jeffree Star's lip gloss. Uh, lipstick ammunition and glazed it is so freaking pretty comment down below if you have that color it is beautiful it's like one of my favorite lipsticks ever and uh it's kind of coming off because i talked like a bunch in my last video <laughs> okay so the next product that i received is the um what the freak hold on oh the luxi beauty fan brush and I was like, really, girl? Like, y'all try me. <laughs> I don't like fan brushes. Do you guys like fan brushes? Definitely one of y'all are going to get mine because I'm definitely throwing it in a giveaway. If there's any brushes I don't use, it is definitely a fan brush. Jeffree Star loves them. Me? I don't. So, mine's going to be going. And it's a Luxie, so it's a good one, but it's going to be going in a giveaway. The next one is the Ofra Cosmetics Nikki Tutorial and Glow Gold Highlighter. And I chose that myself. That's my chosen product. And it's probably my favorite product I'm getting today, uh, this month. The next one is the Char the Theory Charcoal Bamboo Detoxifying Body Scrub. If I wanted a body scrub, i go to Walmart, Ipsy. This is a makeup subscription service. Well, it is makeup, but it is beauty. I hate that word because they can twist it. Um, but I don't want no damn freaking body scrub in my makeup bag. Okay, and I have eczema, so I probably can't use this. 
And last but not least, I got the H2O Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream. I received this like two or three months ago. So eh, I'm just not happy. Now on to the add-ons. That's our favorite part, right guys? So the add-ons for this month, you could do $18 full size. And those were just two products. And that was the Juice Beauty, the Stem. Um, Y'all know what it is. <laughs> The STEM anti-aging, um, we've had this in the bag and BoxyCharm for the last like three months. Like I think they have so many of them, they're just trying to just get rid of it. Okay, and then you have the 111 Skin, and this is a great brand I hear, but uh, no, I didn't get this. So comment down below if you did. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the STEM Cellar Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. All right, now the $12 add-ons. Okay, sorry, I thought I had a sneeze. You have the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Emerald. This palette looks bomb. I'm not a Huda Beauty fan. I'm not a Huda Beauty fan. Now, I did say to myself, because my girl Connor, she is killing it and rocking it with the Huda Beauty looks lately. So it was like, okay, Sam, you will buy in 2020 one Huda Beauty palette. You will literally go to Sephora and you will decide what palette you want. So I'm going to give them a second chance. I was not impressed with the other ones, but I'm going to see what they crack in with in 2020. So maybe you'll make a believer out of me. All right. The next one is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Sapphire. This palette, they might be able to make a, be, uh, uh, a believer out of me. This palette is bomb. Like the color scheme, the color story is breathtaking, but I can't spend $12 until I swatch it. So if they have this at Sephora, your girl will definitely freaking uh might buy it. however if any of my sweetie squad got this swatch it and send your girl it on instagram please <laughs> the next one is the huda beauty um oh my god we've seen this palette a million times and then you have the huda beauty uh liquid lips i do not like those um that's the one in matte uh the matte one in trendsetter i don't like them to me huda beauty um liquid lips reminds me of Heart. Comment down below if you believe it too. I also knew, found out that Huda Beauty is Huda Beauty Booty. Yes, Huda Beauty is coming out with liquid eyeshadows, and you know your girl is all about some liquid eyeshadow. So I need those in my life. I definitely want to try those. Let me know if you guys have, because I am so curious. All right. The next one, um, the next add-on is the Billion Dollar Brows. We had that last month. Uh, you could have added it on. And then we also have the Thrive Cosmetics in Rich Black. This one is one of my favorite mascaras. It's amazing, but I already have like three of them. So definitely don't need them. Compliments of Ipsy. Okay. Sweet Chef Beat and Va Vanilla. Uh, vanilla. Vitamin A Serum. This one right here, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Um, I did hear good reviews because they have also the other one you could have got, which is the Kale and Vitamin B Serum. Let me know if you got it. And if you did, tell me how it is. Um, I hear that it is all natural though. And you know, I'm all for that organic stuff. Mmm. My sneezing is unreal. Okay, the next one is the Gold McFadden Dr. Scrub. No, not even interested. The Perlis Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. I've gotten this. I've not tried this. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, God. I need to just, I need to seriously declutter. I need to seriously declutter. The next one is the Hanalei Company um, Lip Treatment and Clear. I love Hanalei products. I even got my YouTube manager on this stuff. It is amazing. If you do not have it, definitely need it in your life. It is a like therapy for your lips. The next one is the Nora Skin Meditation Gel Cream. Never tried it. Um, you have the Ahava Essential Day Moisturizer. I have tried it. It's okay. It kind of reminds me of a dupe for Aveeno. And Aveeno is good. So, I'm sorry. Then you have the Hey Honey Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey in Copper Peel Off Mask. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not a peel off mask kind of girl. Oh my God. But, and um, who's on Maddie? Maddie girl, you told me that the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mask is amazing. It is amazing. Am I glowing this morning, guys? Am I glowing? I'm a little broken out because my period's like tomorrow, but... My face felt rejuvenated. I felt energized. I love it. I want it full size. I need it full size. 
The next one is the Flush Fleshy Lips in Chew. No, and Flesha here is a new brand that we're gonna go with. Ipsy's gonna, I guess, collaborate with, but um, I didn't get any flush products in this package, uh, in this bag. And then you have the Touch Flush Highlighter Balm and Startled. Let me know if you guys got it. I heard it's a pretty color, but I'm not really one for like cream highlighters. And then the Balm Cosmetics Alternative Rock Volume One Palette. Um, I was a little mad. Because I wanted the Balm Matrimony, was it made in matrimony or whatever? I wanted that palette and they did not have that palette to choose from. So I was kind of mad about that. And then you have the January 2020 Glam Bag Ultimate Bag. You could have bought it and had a nice cute marble lunchbox. All right, on to the $3 add-ons. You have the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. This one, I heard it was good. I did hear it was good and I was, I was, I was toying with the idea but remember it is a mini size it's a little trial size um and then you had the Too Faced Cosmetics Hangover Replenishing Face Primer Jesus they must have a thousand of those too because we've had those like the last three damn bags too now we have the Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door Mascara and Blackout I heard this is a great mascara their wand is amazing my mom got it so I'll ask mama sweets how she likes it and let y'all know the next one is the Benefit Cosmetics Dimmy Brow Volumizing Eyebrow Gel in Neutral Deep Brown. I have this. I got this plenty of times, like last year, from Ipsy, and um, I like it. It's a very good brow gel. The next one is the Beauty For Real uh, Lip Revival Tinted Lip Balm in Debbie. Um, I've never really liked Beauty For Real lipsticks. I think they're moisturizing, but I never really tried them, but I don't like them because they're all tinted. But... I did like their lip glosses. Oh, I love their lip glosses. And then we have a Beauty For Real lip gloss and shine in nudist. I did not see that, damn it. Because I have the other one. My mom has the other one. She don't like her, so she gave it to me. So damn, I could have had the other one, but that's okay. I have enough lip glosses in my life. Um, you have the Arcelli Beauty um, Perfector Liquid Eyeliner in Night, and then the other one in Coffee. I'm not a fan of liquid eyeliner, so thank you, next. You have the full size Morphe full coverage concealer. It's your girl finally got one. I got one. Mama Sweets raves about hers, so I had to try it. So I got mine in uh, 1.55, the lightest color, because I like the brightness underneath my eyes. Okay, the next one is the JJ Young Pore Glow Mask. Um, I've heard of JJ Young, but I've never tried the masks. You have the Han Hu. Bubble Up Peeling Pad with Collagen, pack of five pads. Sounds interesting. And then you have the Go To Skincare Face Hero. It's like another serum. And then you have the Aromamatica Tea Tree Balancing Foaming Cleanser. Ooh, nice. And then you have the Vanilla Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm and Original. I think we had that the last two bags also, and I'm not impressed. And then you have the Hemp's Original Herbal Body Moisturizer. I love this lotion, but not the original. And then you have the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Cream in Sea Kiss. It literally smells like you're a dead fish. Like it's like salt water. It is good for your skin, but I don't want to smell like a dead fish. Um, my mama sweets got it and I told her about it and she's like, oh great, another product that I could throw away. I was like, nah, girl, give it to me and I'll throw it in a good bag. I get it, you know, give away or whatever. Because just because it smells like that on me, remember, pH balances are different for everybody. So it might be just a scent that I don't like. You guys might like it. <clears throat> the next one is the Nomad um, and Markinish Medina Intense. And my mama sweets got that too. And she shows up for her product and she cannot wait for me to apply it all over the lid. Hence, remember I said me. Yeah, that's what she said. The next one is the real. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. The next one is the Nomad Cosmetics in um, Medina Intense. Oh, the other, the first one's in Desert Sands and the other one's in Henna. Henna looks real pretty, like a pretty matte color, I'm pretty sure. But um, I've never really tried the Nomad eyeshadows, but I am very interested with them. And then I got the Real Her eyeshadow in Victorious. Mama Sweets got it for me, and I'm so happy because I wanted to try it. And I was like, damn, I don't want to, like, go crazy, you know, but I really wanted to try it. So I'm going to try it. And then I, um, the next one is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow Eye Candy in Venus. And again, the same damn color. Like, can we get a different one? Can we get a different one? I've actually tried Bella Pierre Cosmetics uh, Liquid Eyeshadows. I have a few. And they're not bad. But this one is like a matte cream. It's not like a shimmer. And I'm all about that shimmer liquid eyeshadow. The next one is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Lipstick in Envy. 
This is something I wish I would have got. I wish I would have got Envy because it's more of like a ruby red instead of, or like more of like a burnt red, mauve red than a freaking bright ass red. So damn, I wish I would have got that one instead. The next one is Finding Ferdinand Lipstick and Very Berry. Finding Ferdinand lipsticks are amazing. Let me know if you have them. I have like this purplish one. I don't even know where it is, but it's beautiful and their formula is fantastic. The next one is the Contact Skin Liquid Liqueur in Mad Love. Looks very pretty, especially just in time for Valentine's. The next one is the Jules Smith Beauty Power Gloss in Moonbeam Dream. What do you think? I had to get it. $3? Yes, please. It says that it's a lavender iridescent gloss. Oh, I am so obsessed. I cannot wait to see how good this freaking feels on the, on the lips. It just, I love Jewel Smith. I, I use their liquid lip, like not the liquid lip, but the lip gloss. No, it's a liquid lip. They're two liquid lips I got in my Ipsy um, Glam Bag Plus, like every other day. I love their formula, so I know I'm going to love this. The next one is the Ciate Lending Glow to Illuminating Blush in Matchmaker. And then you have one in Date Night, and then you have the other one in Pinch Me. I told Mama Sweets to buy the one in Pinch Me. I think that will look really good against the complexion of her skin. So hopefully she gets it so I can see how it works. But I like Ciate London. It's a great brand, so I can only imagine these would be great. Comment down below if you got one of these blushes. The next four, okay, the, I'm sorry, four? Oh, two. The next two, I am pissed. Because remember I said in my video, it was the Per Cosmetics. It is the mineral powder, like a foundation, cream foundation. I wanted to try this. They only had two colors. They only had the freaking, oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, they had the golden medium and then they had the light. And I toyed medium light, medium light, medium light because I bronze my face. So I would be looking even darker with a medium light foundation. And so I ended up getting the light. I hope I'm not sorry. I almost got both. I hope I'm not sorry. But if I like it, I will get the other one because it's only $26. But I can't wait to try this. So comment down below if you got this. This is a pure four-in-one pressed mineral makeup. But if you look at all the products and I might go over that if we have time I'm not sure but if um you look at all the products you click on all January's products wow wow they had freaking three you could choose from which the middle one looked perfect for me so I'm kind of mad they only put two on here all right the other one is the next one is the Pearlese four-in-one cleansing milk again it's Pearlese I hear it's great um, the Stella Skin Seed to Skin Scrub and Natural Grain Polish, not interested. The Urban Jive Provision Hydrating Lip Balm, I hear it's good, but I don't like chapstick formula. I like, um, like, I don't like chapstick formula. I like, like, gloss formula, if that makes sense. The next one is the Mark Anthony True Professional Oil and Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. I really could use that in my life right now. And then you have the fair brushes, the face brush. And this, I believe, my mama sweets got too. And she was over the moon for it. She's like, I got a brush, I got a brush. She was so happy. And then you have these keychains you could choose from. I didn't get one. And the reason I didn't get one is not because I didn't want it, but because they say in the 2019 limited edition best of 2019, there will be a keychain in it. So I'm hoping because you're getting five products that the keychain is actually a little bonus and it better not be a product. Oh, we will have a Jeffree Star Cosmetics problem over here. Okay. All right. Let's go on and we can just real quick, briefly go over all the products. That was all the add-ons that you could do. Now let's go to... Oh, how cute. They even have on here like a freaking Esmus Glam traveling jewelry case you can buy... I cannot believe this limited edition bag of 2019 is still for sale. Like, I am shook because the Black Friday mystery bag sold out in one day. And all these bags are still on here that you could choose from. So I am shook. I hope I don't get taken. It's only $14, but still, you know. Really why I want it is because they say a Kenzie product might be in there. And Kenzie is like one of my favorite perfumes. All right. So from... The ones we've not talked about <laughs> because we've already talked about a lot of them okay 
So we talked about most of these already. So let's just talk about the ones that we did not talk about. So for the products you could have received, these are the other ones that you could have gotten in January, but these were not add-ons. You had the Real Her Eyeshadow in Incorporate, and it looks like a very shimmery, like champagne-y gold color that would be beautiful all over the lids. You have two face masks, which I love. That's how I get so many face masks to ship to y'all, is in my Ipsy bag, because you get two for like three bucks. So I'm kind of mad that you could not get one of these masks, because I always like getting me a mask. So you have the Daily Fresh Squeeze Sheet um, by Yvette uh, face mask. You have one in coconut and one in pomegranate. And I didn't receive neither, unfortunately. All right. And then the other one. Uh, okay, we already talked about that one. We talked about this one. We talked about this one. We talked about this one. You have a lipstick in Defy and Inspire in Pinky Swear. It's such a pretty, nice little, like, baby pink. It'd be so pretty all over the toes. Um, but, again, you know, these were what you could have gotten in the bag. And then you had, oh, wow, you had a lot to choose from well you don't get to choose these are just what you could have gotten in your bag this is the beauty for real lip revival tinted lip balm you had two other colors you could have chose from well you could have received stop saying choose some of it received and then you had two more nail polishes you had the mishko beauty nail liqueur and nyfw and it was like this royal blue color and then you had this beautiful one from contact skin and it's called ain't love grand i bet you is it ain't love grand? It just says ain't love. Okay. Ain't love strange. Damn. I thought it was ain't love grand. How do I go back on this pic on this phone? This is my old phone, so I'm like trying to remember how to use it. Okay. Okay, then the beauty for real gloss and nudist. Okay, we went through that. And then here is what I'm mad at. The pure, you had three you could have received in your bag, and you had the one. It, it just, I can't show y'all, I don't think, but maybe I can show y'all. See right here, those three you could choose from? You only had this one and this one to choose from. That one would have been perfect for my skin. It was like not too dark and not too light. It was perfect. And of course, that wasn't a part of the add-on. Mad. Okay. The last ones is, oh, more masks. You add the one in tomato and the one in pumpkin from Lab for You. And then you add a Pixie by Trust, a Pixie by Petra. I love them. Hydrating Milky Mist. And I'm interested about that. And then you add the two lip glosses. I, oh, this is different colors. Yeah, these are kind of different. These are so pretty. No? That's right. That's a different color. Okay. I have this. I do have this. This is the Jules. Smith Beauty and Namaste. Namaste and Serene Queen, Queen, Queen. So pretty. I love it. If you got that in your bag, you are going to love it. It is amazing. So good. And it's infused with cocoa oil. Oh, God, it makes so much sense. Okay. Then you have the Wonder Beauty and Rush Eyeshadow. Like, we've all seen that palette a thousand times, and I'm not a fan of Wonder Beauty. And then you had a Complex Culture Press and Set Bronzer Brush. And remember, Complex and Culture, they are now Ipsy's brand. And then you had the Nature's Cartel Lipstick in 90s Nostalgia. And then you had one in Gin and Play-Doh. Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Eyeliner. Pink Milk Mask um, by Duff and & Dolph. And I heard that's a good brand, but I've never, ever... Uh, heard of it. I don't even know what it is. Honestly, Lou by Jean So Restore Protecting Moisture and that's for your hair. And then, okay, we already saw that product. We already saw that product. Okay. You could not add any of these flesh illuminating drops. I was kind of pissed, but whatever. You couldn't add them. You had the flesh, the right flesh glisten drops. You had this beautiful ice pink I told you I was interested in. Then you had this beautiful like coral and then you had this golden one. And they look so pretty. Comment down below if you got it. Let me know how you like it. And send your girl a pic on Instagram. And, oh, oh no, sorry. Um, last for the gl Ipsy Glam bag in the plus, you have the Space Case Cosmetics. And you have the highlighters. Um, I don't know what the name of them was, but, but those are the two right there. And I love Space Case. They're such a good brand. Okay. Now on to the ultimate. You could have got Pretty Woman Nail Polish and Don't Be Jelly. Okay. 
Thrive Cosmetics. Oh, we already talked about that. The live lashes. The Bomb Cosmetics. I'm telling you guys, if you bought these two palettes right here, you would be so happy. The Bomb Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands. And it is so good. The eyeshadows are gorgeous. And I'm telling you right now, this, this one right here, Alternative Rock Volume 1 looks like it would be such an everyday palette. Damn, why not buy that? You know, you can always, if you're an Ipsy member, you can go on here and you can get your products like half off. Like right now, let's see. Let's just see for shits and giggles how much it would cost. Oh, here we go. Shop. Fingers crossed. We get a good price. $24.75. Not bad. So $24.75. I would pay that. Here's the swatches right there. I would pay that. That's not bad. Oh, and of course, it's out of stock. <laughs> oh, well. Well, there's always, you know, the internet. So you never know. But again, it's such a good everyday palette. It's so pretty. You got your blush. You got your contour. You got your highlight. Psh, all in one. And then, okay, this is the Brush Mama Sweet Scott. Because she said hers was a fair and it was pink and marbled. She was so happy. So she got that one. And then this is what pisses me off, though. See these um oh my god eyeshadows like that just piss me off like give me a nice decent one i can get my brush in not those little uh cheap ass things that come in the dollar store <laughs> okay and then i was mad there is the this works deep sleep pillow spray if you got that in your ultimate you are going to love it i still have a little bit of mine from birchbox and I love mine. It's for like nights I can't sleep. Like last night, I should have done it. Damn it. I will today if I can't sleep. It is breathtaking. It's so relaxing. It's eucalyptus and lavender. It just puts you in a deep sleep. It's amazing. So you could have got that. And then here's the palette I wanted. The Bomb Cosmetics Meet Me at Matrimony. And I couldn't get it because they didn't have it on there to choose. This looks like such a versatile palette. Look at those swatches right there. Amazing. Your girl's got ghosts running her phone because I didn't even show you guys the swatches. <laughs> it did it for itself. Um, you had the Tarte Double Duty Beauty um, Liquid Eye... I mean, I'm sorry. Pencil Eyeliner. And um, it looks... I like Tarte's eyeliners, honestly. Not the liquid, but the, uh, you know, other one. And then you had Let Me Know because you guys are all like, no, I'm not getting this. No, I'm not. Like, you were in denial. Did you guys get your straightener or your curler? I'm so happy for you guys if you got it. I know a lot of you guys wanted it. And that's all of them. So comment down below what you guys got. Let me know what your favorite product is. I'm sorry if this video is too long. But, oh, Ipsy, you had a lot of products this month to go through. So again, comment down below what you got. Let me know what you thought of it. And here's the look into February. Thumbs up. All right, guys. I'm about to go make me something to eat. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, stay beautiful. Stay blessed. I'm your girl. Love y'all. Bye.